Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to solve this question which states that if we are given these three as the cyclic groups, correct? The first one is the cyclic group generated by A, second one is generated by B, third one is generated by C and each one is having order 6, 8 and 20 respectively. Then we have to find all the generators of these group. Now remember that the terms A, B and C, they are not known to us. They are not some specific uh, numbers. They are just the alphabets which are given to us. So we have to tell them in terms of A, B and C only. Now, if you compare the orders of uh, the, these orders 6, 8 and 20, they match with that of our previous question in which we have solved the, we have found the generators for Z6, Z8 and Z20, correct? So can we make use of the previous result somehow in this question? The answer is yes. Let's see how. So here uh, we are given the subgroup generated by A, this is a cyclic group of order 6, correct? So by definition of cyclic group, we are, if we are taking the group operation as multiplication because nothing has been given to us. So here the group generated by A would be containing all the elements starting from A raised to power 0 to A raised to power 5. By the powers, by, because our group here is, uh, the group operation here is multiplication, correct? So a raised to power 0 is nothing but your identity element. So here the elements of this group, they are also the generators of uh, this group generated by a such that the generators would be of this form a raised to power m where what is m? m is some integer lying between 0 to 6 such that the GCD of m with 6 is equal to 1 and this is what we done in the previous question. For z6 we found the numbers less than 6 such that the GCD of number with 6 is equal to 1. So we found that the numbers are either 1, the GCD of 2 with 6 is not 1, 3 with 6 is not 1, 4 with 6 is not 1, 5 with 6 is 1. So we only obtain the values of m as 1 and 5 hence the generators here would be a raised to power 1 and a raised to power 5. Correct? So here these are the only two generators for this particular group. In a similar manner we can calculate the all the generators for the group uh, generated by B as well as the group generated by C. So let's see how the procedure is the same. If we are given B as the cyclic group generated by B of order 8, so all the elements could be listed as some powers of B. So we can write all the elements as B raised to power 0, B raised to power 1, B raised to power 2, B raised to power 3, B raised to power 4, B raised to power 5, B raised to power 6 and B raised to power 7. Why? Because the order of this group is given to be 8. So it definitely contain 8 elements within it. Now, the generators of this group would be of this form b raised to power m where what is m? m is some integer lying between 0 to 8 such that the gcd of m with 8 is equal to 1. So the numbers which are less than 8 having gcd with 8 as equal to 1 they are only 1, 3, 5 and 7. Correct? So therefore the generators of the group generated by b would be the four members which are b raised to power 1, b raised to power 3, b raised to power 5 and b raised to power 7. We already know b raised to power 1 is a generator. Why? Because this is generating whole of our group. In a similar manner this a raised to power 1 was the generator. Why? Because it was generating whole of our group. Correct? So now let's move on to the last example where uh, we take uh, the group generated by C to be a cyclic group of order 20. So all the elements are listed here, correct, by the definition of cyclic group. So its generator would be of this form. Uh, it would be C raised to power some number which is less than 20 and whose GCD with 20 is equal to 1. So the numbers here are 1, 3, 7, 9, 11, 13, 17 and 19 as we saw in the previous question. So the generators of this group, they are c raised to power 1, c raised to power 3, c raised to power 7, c raised to power 9, c raised to power 11, c raised to power 13, c raised to power 17 and c raised to power 19. Correct? And this is what was required for this particular question. So I hope you understood this question well. Well, that is it for this video. Thank you for watching.